Hey guys, I'm Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. So today I will test this new Android Mini CarPlay box. Uh, this is from the Aurora Link company and the reason why it's called a mini CarPlay box is because it comes with a, a closed Android 11 operating system which means you cannot install any more apps other than the pre-installed apps on this device. Now there are quite a few pre-installed applications like uh, YouTube, Netflix, Live TV, Wireless CarPlay and so on. Uh, but you cannot install any other application. Now, the really great thing about this device is the price point. It is only for around 80 US dollars, which is quite good for such a device. Now, as I said earlier, it runs on uh, a closed Android 11 operating system. It's got a four core processor, two GB of RAM, eight GB of uh, internal storage. Uh, basically, it has nine main apps or functionalities, things like wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Uh, it's got the Netflix app, the YouTube app. Interestingly, it also comes with a live TV app with free subscription. And we will test that later on in the video. It also has the YouTube music app, uh, the mobile screen mirroring functionality, which is a supercast. It comes with a USB slot, so you can connect a USB-A flash drive uh, with this device to have, you know, additional storage or to watch video or audio content. And finally, it comes with a HDMI port. So you can connect this with the rear systems in your car or you can connect it with your TV at home. So seems to be a very interesting product. Uh, let's first do the unboxing of this Aurora Link uh, mini CarPlay device and then I will connect this with my car to test the different functions and features. So keep watching guys. This is the, the Aurora Link device. Now we'll come back to this in a while. Let's uh, check out the other contents. So you have the user manual. It's a, it's a very brief user manual. Some basic details. And then you have a few cables. Right, so you get uh, two cables to connect the device with the car. This is a USB A to C and USB C to C. So this is C to C and this is A to C. This is what I need because the USB port in my car is a type C connection. So I need this for my car. But if your car has a USB A connection, then you can use this. All right, so you also get a very nice HDMI cable. Which is quite good all right then this is the aurora link mini carplay android box um, again all plastic body very lightweight a squarish design you've got lots of spacing for uh, ventilation now this is the connection for the car and on the other side you have uh, the usb a flash drive uh, port and you've got the hdmi connection here so it's a very simple, uh, compact uh, device, um, not very heavy, uh, all plastic, so looks quite nice. That's it guys, so let me take this out and connect it with my car and then we will test all the different functions and features of this Aurora Link Mini CarPlay Android box. Uh, all right, friends, so we've got uh, the device ready here. I will connect it with the car and at the same time, I will also time how long does this device take to boot and get us to the main Android uh, homepage. So I've connected the device. I've got the timer on. All right, so it takes about 27, 28 seconds for the device to start and uh, get to the main homepage. All right, guys, so this is the main homepage of this uh, Aurora Link mini Android CarPlay box. Now, let me give you a quick tour of the layout here. So on the top left, you've got the Wi-Fi connection, time, date, uh, media. Then you've got uh, a wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Uh, then you've got media. So if you've connected a USB flash drive, you can access that through this media. You can uh, connect your mobile uh, through the Bluetooth for uh, music and telephone calls. Then you've got the settings option. 
uh, and then you have uh, the applications here so let's click on this takes us to the full view so you've got youtube netflix youtube music disney plus uh, live tv bluetooth media supercast which is mobile screen mirroring uh, settings and the car this car button takes you back to the main home page of your original system so very quick as i said earlier this is a closed android operating system so you cannot install any new application on this uh, you can just use the ones that are pre-installed on this device so what we will do in this video in order to test the performance of this aurora link carplay mini box uh, i will start testing some of the important functionality like the wireless carplay and wireless android auto and then we will also test the applications like youtube netflix live tv and so on all right so the first thing i'd like to test is the wireless carplay so we need to click on this icon here takes us to this page and the next step is to go on the iphone click on the bluetooth and then we should be able to see a new device as aurora you click on that you get to this page where you need to pair it allow it to sing favorites and contacts and then you should be able to see the home screen of uh, Apple CarPlay in a few seconds now this is a one-time setup you just need to make this connection once and then every time you uh, you know switch on the device it will automatically detect the connection and take you to the main home page of uh, Apple CarPlay all right there you go so this is the home page of Apple CarPlay this is a standard home page uh, you have all the different apps appearing the ones that are installed on your mobile uh, there are you know applications which are not compatible with Apple CarPlay like Facebook Instagram TikTok those would not appear here hey Siri play some music here's some music from your Apple music library all right so Siri is working I can uh, play music through Siri I can also use steering wheel controls uh, with this device to skip songs or to increase volume um, all right so that's working uh, now uh, let's go back to the main home page clicking this button here all right now let's try to connect the wireless Android Auto so we go and click on this uh, icon uh, takes us to this page um, and next step is on your Android mobile I've got my Samsung here open Bluetooth uh, then we should be able to see a new device as Aurora click on that and then pair it and allow it to sing favorites and now in a few seconds we should be able to see the home page of uh, Android Auto on the screen all right so this is uh, the Android Auto home page uh, in fact this is the map but you click on this it takes you to the Android Auto home page which looks like this now you can change the look and feel of uh, of this by going to the settings you change the wallpaper and so on but this is a standard uh, layout of uh, android auto all right so we've tested wireless carplay and wireless android auto both are working perfectly fine now let's start testing uh, some of the applications uh, let's start off with youtube all right so the video is playing uh, smoothly um, no lag or buffering of any sort uh, and it's quite clear as well so youtube seems to be working fine try uh, netflix all right so i've logged into my netflix account uh, now let's uh, go and uh, play a video All right, so Netflix uh, seems to be working uh, nicely. We can see if we can use the voice control as well on the steering wheel. Okay, so voice also working. All right, so I don't have a YouTube Music or Disney Plus account, so you know we can't test that. Uh, but now let's test this live TV app. Uh, now you know apparently it's a free for life kind of a subscription on live tv so now let's test this one 
All right, so this is the live TV uh, user interface. You, you can see different categories on the left. You've got movies, music, uh, news, sports, entertainment, documentary, cartoons, and so on. And then within each of these folders, you've got different channels. So now, for example, in movies, you've got 213 channels. Um, so you see, you know, different movie channels from around the world. Um, then let's click on sports. It takes a little bit to load all the channels. So you can see all these channels, about 165 sports channels uh, from all over the world. Uh, so it's a mix of uh, different languages. Now the important thing is to see if those are working fine. Now let's go to, let's say, entertainment. Uh, okay, within cartoon, let's see if, uh, if those channels are working. Now, whenever you load a channel, it takes a little bit of time for it to load uh, and it also depends on the internet connection. I see it's, it's buffering a little bit. And, but uh, in terms of the quality, uh, it's quite nice. But again, you know, if it keeps on doing this, then there's no point of, uh, of this live TV application. All right, so now let's go back. All right, so now let's test a sports channel. So this is a 1080p uh, channel. Uh, it was quite fast to load, uh, but it's not that smooth. There you go. So it's buffering a little bit. Um, you know, we tested the, the cartoon channel earlier and the sports channel again. Uh, so I'm not very happy with the live TV app on this device. Okay, so the last thing I would like to test on this device is this very interesting mobile screen mirroring or the casting uh, app. So let's click on that. And then what we need to do is uh, on the mobile, I've connected my iPhone, drop down from top right, click on this screen mirroring, and then select this Aurora 4. And that should mirror my screen. So very easy. Um, and now uh, you can see it's uh, it's quite fast. Just a tiny bit of lag. Um, let's see if you can play this video. All right, so we can play uh, video content or audio content. It's basically the mobile is, is mirrored to this device, uh, but you cannot see the same uh, content on the mobile uh, at the same time. So you can only have it on the main screen. Uh, now the problem I've noticed so far is that there's a bit of lag. Um, if you notice, so now there you go. So there's a bit of lag uh, when we are casting this uh, onto the screen. Um, all right, friends, so that's about it. Uh, this was a very quick review of this uh, new Aurora Link uh, mini Android CarPlay box. Uh, you know, I really liked wireless CarPlay and uh, wireless Android Auto. It was quite fast. Uh, things like YouTube, Netflix, uh, you know, flash drive playback, everything worked perfectly fine. Uh, the two negatives for me, uh, one is the live TV app and the other one is the mobile screen mirroring. Uh, both of them uh, did not work um, as expected. You know, there was a lot of buffering, lagging and so on. So, so guys, if you're interested to get this device, just go to the link in the description of this video that takes you directly to the manufacturer's uh, website where you can buy this new Aurora Link mini Android CarPlay box.